what's happening? Guess where we are? So we're gonna do the pool area, then we're gonna do another area, and by the time we're done, we should be done with all the spaces. So as I share, I'm still looking for tips. So if you see anything I could do differently, please comment below, because I'm always looking for ideas. But I'm hoping that this video will impact you in some way positively. I'm coming from my yard in Jamaica to yours. Welcome back, my rock stars. The renovation started with us wanting to change this area. This is the largest wall in our backyard. So wherever in the yard you're standing, you can see this wall. But it always got brown spots on it. Uh, from the rain and the humidity and it, it just didn't look right after six months or so uh, of being painted So we had to figure out a way to cover it but to do so and allow it to stand out So we decided to make it the accent wall because you can see it from everywhere for the most part and uh, As such we decided to find this unusual tile again creative came to the rescue so big up yourself miss Parnell and uh, your team and i just love this area this is where it all started we wanted to cover up this space and when we were done with this space we thought okay the other spaces don't look so nice anymore and it became a gradual project this is our accent wall and i don't think the lighting is doing this much justice right now but basically you can see this wall and i'll show you what it looks like from an above from an aerial view but you can see this wall from anywhere and uh, we decided to cover it with this beautiful tile. Then below it, we wanted to add some stepping stones and create a pathway that was bordered by bromeliads along the path, as you can see there. And if, let me show you what it looks like when you're walking on it. So that's what the wall looks like. And there goes the pathway. I hope the lighting is good enough for you to see this because I don't think I don't think videos do much to a space in terms of showing you what it looks like and it continues and it goes it's off Now this is our pool area and I'm giving you a shot of it from a raised area in our yard. So that said, let's, let's get closer. Now for the pool area, I wanted to start with this beautiful artwork that's in the base of the pool. And it was done by the amazing Nelson Allen. Nelson, if you're watching this, thumbs up below. But dolphins are one of my favorite animals, sea creatures, whatever you want to call them. And this was a nice way to represent it. Now, Nelson used tiles to actually make these dolphins in this pool. So I just think it's amazing art. And when the pool stops, I'm gonna take another shot of it so you can see it without the waves. The pool was 
was done by Harry's pool and I'll put his Instagram link below and quite frankly we didn't do much with the pool so Dale if you're watching this big up yourself now the pool has three sections to it so let me show you those three sections so the first section is basically the pull-up or the swim up bar I should say not pull up and this area has also been decorated there you know well I have no idea usually we're not southeast and west is so that's helpful and just some pieces of art there and this was another space right there that got tiled because it became a maintenance issue so no longer painting it we're now tiling it and that's a clock there so from here you can see this is the counter that's at the pool bar so if you look over you'll see the stools where you can swim up to have a drink feature of this pool is this infinity hot tub so basically the water is cascading over its edges which is what gives it the infinity look and inside of this hot tub we use blue a dark blue to pop the space because as you can see the pool itself is a lagoon pool which is why the color is dark another idea from Dale so thank you for that and with all the greenery around it makes complete sense that it should be a lagoon pool which is dark in color as opposed to the typical blue pools that you see around because it's better able to capture nature so that's the hot tub in a nutshell it has seating all round and you can see let's see if we can turn it on here and see what happens there we go so you can hear i'm sure you can hear the bubbles and you see the jets pushing out water until the entire tub i think i need to push it one more time to get the other jets on. There we go. So now all the jets are on and this tub can actually hold 12 to 15 people very easily. So that's it. Let's turn this back off. got quiet again. The other feature of this pool is that fountain that's there and that's just to create the sound of water so you know you feel like you're in a very relaxing space. an accent piece on the deck of the pool we have this fish and it's been through hell if you look carefully at its beak you'll realize there's tape on it because well it's not a beak it's not a bird but whatever that is there's tape on it because it's it's done its time but we just keep painting it and painting its eye and giving it a fresh look every single time and it works very nicely with the space Now there's another hammock here and if you didn't hear me earlier, these are available on Goffa so you can get them there. And this one is hovering over the pool, the pool deck a little bit so you get kind of a overwater experience when you sit in it. And I love this one because you can easily fall asleep in it 
to the sound of the fountain that's right there. Can we forget our swan that's always here with us? And this is another piece that you can get, or it's basically a floater that you can buy on Goffa, and I'll tag the links below. But this swan is huge, so it can fit when my nieces and nephews are here. It can fit a few of them on it and it's just a lot of fun to have in a pool if you have one so can't leave her out recently i wanted to experiment with some additional lighting in the pool so we got these floating balls and the light colors change and they are solar most importantly so i'll share some footage with you of what it looks like when it gets dark and the colors are changing at night so uh, trying it with four and if it works well then we can look at getting a few in addition to the hammock that's there we also have some other seating in the pool deck and here is what it looks like here's the additional seating on the pool deck and it's just a regular sectional it was there before we didn't do anything to this other than to add a few red cushions to pop it this table was always here we added this solar light that changes colors at night and that piece was also always there we just added i believe that cushion was actually there and we have some palm and those pots, nothing has changed as it pertains to these pots and the palm that's in it. So it basically softens this area from a nature perspective. And behind this area, we have some more palms and mangoes. And there's another mango tree up there. And basically a large hibiscus, which I'll zoom in and show you afterwards. So that's the general pool deck seating area that you're seeing there and of course it's shaded with an umbrella that comes down and goes back up as needs be now this was a new addition and i have tried with orchids and failed miserably but uh i'm gonna try it one more time so we have this orchid bed that's in the vicinity of the pool. It's not very big, which is why I'm thinking I'll be able to manage it. So it has the gravel, a few pieces of coal, and we have two right now that's blooming, and there are several more. So I'm looking forward to this garden doing well, since I struggle to keep orchids or to maintain orchids. And of course, over here, I forgot to show you my lucky bamboo which takes very little maintenance, which is one of the reasons I like it. So this bloom is from the hibiscus that's behind the seating area, and it's a very large one. Let's just give you some perspective there, so you get an idea of how far up this hibiscus goes. And I think it complements the area very well because it's a nice pink. I probably have said compliment about 100 times in this video, but it's because I'm not an expert at showing things like this. So I'm gonna use a word and stick to it and run it red. That's it for the pool area in terms of seating and the bar area and just the general space. And we haven't done much to it, as I said. We didn't need to because it, it doesn't require much because of the design. The steps of the pool, they actually have glow in the dark tiles. So if you decide to take a swim in the, in the dark, you will find your way. And it's the same glow in the dark tiles that are around the edge of the dolphin. So again, when it gets dark, you're able to see the dolphin in the pool. And of course the pool lights up as well at nighttime. So that's it for the pool. So now on to my favorite space. I'm living right here and now and I don't wanna miss out Is this what life's all about? The world is calling and I'm listening 
Yeah, I'm listening I feel the freedom inside Come on, let's go for a ride I finally opened my eyes And I can see it so clearly So clearly Life is but a dream Isn't it amazing? Isn't it amazing?